Hi, I'm James with British Customs. Today we're going to feature our Gyronaut build, which is a 2014 Bonneville and was provided to us by Triumph Motorcycles as part of our Legend Series builds. We built this bike to pay homage to the original Gyronaut X1 that was powered by twin Bonneville engines. It was a streamliner that in 1966 broke the world speed record of 245 miles an hour and held that record until early 70s. This paint was done by Matt Means of Anaheim Rod and Custom and follows the original paint scheme and features the three team members' names of the original Gyronaut X1. For the fairing, we chose a Norman Hyde fairing. Uh, it comes with all the brackets you need and everything, and it's supposed to be a bolt-on application, but we found that it wasn't that simple. Nothing really lined up perfect, so it took a lot of massaging. We had to open up holes on the windshield to make that straight. It was very crooked. Um, took a little bit of trimming to get everything to work, but in the end, we got the results we wanted. The line is nice, and everything works. So we used clip-on handlebars so that we could fit into the gap here. If we would have used the standard bars, we would have been hitting up here. So to get it down low enough, put a clip-on on there. We used LSL brand. Um, there wasn't a lot to choose from back then. So one of the problems we faced with this clip-on handlebar is with the one-inch style, the bar hits the master cylinder and you can't clamp it down all the way. So you have to clearance the master cylinder until you can tighten that clamp up all the way. Um, we've gotten away from using these on the one inch. We can use uh, Woodcraft now and they don't seem to have that problem anymore. For the seat we used our Cafe Racer seat which uh, we don't produce this anymore but it was a nice seat with vinyl and gel. Um, we really like the style on this bike just kind of fit and uh, if this is something you think we should be reproducing let us know in the comments. For the gas cap, we decided to go with an original Monza style cap using an adapter that we used to produce. And it just pops up like that, nice style. For the pipe, we went with the two into two high pipe, which we still produce today, except for on this model, we did a custom turnout on the end there, and we have an integrated louver baffle in there. So we decided to stick with the stock fender because it just kind of flowed perfect with the bike. And uh, then we went with our retro taillight and we kept it in polished stainless because it really matched the chrome covers and the wheels that are on this bike already. So we decided to use our retro sprocket and chain guard on this. We like the, the speed holes for racing, of course, you know, it lightens things up. And the finish was much better than the raw steel. It just you know, really stands out again with the wheels being chrome have this nice and shiny, it looks good. So after this bike was built, it was shown at the Quail Gathering alongside of our other Legend Series builds. And as you can see, with very minimal parts and a, a great paint job, it made a huge difference. You know, the bike doesn't look anything like it did when it was stock. Um, but let us know what you think about this bike. And that's our Gyronaut build. Thanks for watching.